Hi guys, welcome to Tamahawk Show. It's your girl Shola here. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, how you doing? So today we're going to be doing a Juvia's Place haul and focusing on the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I'll do a review and wear test. I picked this up in a couple of shades and I'm really excited to get into my haul from Juvia's Place. Before you go ahead, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to get straight into it and tell you guys everything that I got. I got the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I got it in two shades. Shades. I got the shade. I got shade Burkina three ten and shade Kampala three hundred and forty. I'm gonna do a swatch later on to determine which one's my um, perfect shade. And then I also got the I Am Magic Duo Density Makeup Sponge, which is this right here. I will open it up a little later. And finally, I got the I Am Magic Powder Foundation and the shade tan 2 which is zaria oh sorry i said finally but there's actually one more. um i got the bronze liquid lipstick in the shade bronze toast and and that is pretty much everything i got from my juvia's place haul so when i'm doing my makeup today i'm gonna try and incorporate as many juvia's place products as i can i do have like eyeshadow palettes and a lip liner somewhere and some other lip products somewhere so i will try and incorporate as much juvia's place as i can but yeah the star of the show is the foundation so so let's get straight into swatching and figuring out which one is my perfect shade match. I'm going to tell you guys about the claims and everything else during the wear test instead of at the beginning because yeah I can't right now so I just have to go straight into swatching. So this is what the tube looks like. Um, just bring closer for you guys to see. Just like looking at the shades from outside the bottle they both look a little light. Immediately I'm a little worried but I am sure that that is fine and yeah. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure I got nothing to worry about. I'm going to swatch this shade Campella first. This is the lighter shade. It, it does come with a pump. So this is the shade Campella. There is kind of like a sweet, almost floral lead scent. It's nothing like off-putting for me anyway. Some of someone who minds if this fragrance in their foundation. Um, hopefully once I have this on my face, it's not like too overpowering but i'll let you guys know it's not like overpowering right now either to be honest it's just it's just like a nice light smell so i'm gonna swatch the shade kampala just right here um in the middle of my chest so i'm gonna match it with my chest uh, i'm gonna grab my mirror because i can't see anything i was almost certain that this shade was gonna be too light but at least on like on my mirror i don't know what it's showing like on camera it's disappeared into my skin which is always a good sign which means you know that's the perfect match so i'm just going to swatch the next shade so we can compare and contrast so the next shade is the shade burkina and this is um one shade darker than this so there was kampala accra and then burkina i didn't get accra because accra was described as having olive undertones and i definitely don't have on olive undertones i have more like warm golden neutral like those kind of things work better for me than olive undertones so yeah i'm just gonna swatch the shade burkina so this is what the shade burkina looks like at the back of my hand this kind of color is looking um a lot more familiar to me it's kind of looking more like more foundations i have let's try it out so i'm gonna swatch this just right on the side here yeah i don't know why i'm like painting my whole chest but it's fine why why do things normally when you can be extra okay um i don't think i have ever had such a hard time deciding between two shades because honestly they look they both look really close to my skin tone they both disappear into my like chest very well this one so the shade i just swatched is a little bit warmer while the first shade is a bit more neutral i don't know how much it's going to be picking up on camera i think i'm going to go with the warmer shade but that being said i feel like i could still get away with the the lighter lighter shade and it would still be nice but i think i'll go with the warmer shade so i'm going to be applying it with the sponge because yeah why not it's such a pretty sponge it's like um it's it's a, it's a unique shape to start off with and it's also like do a has like two colors 
So I just wet the sponge and try to make a damp, um, I assume that's how I'm supposed to use it, yeah, dampen sponge. I feel like quite a, a lot of sponges that I use when I dampen them, they kind of like double in size or at least like get bigger, but this one didn't really do that, so. So I'm just going to go with one pump on each side of my face. That doesn't seem even at all. I'm going to get my hair out of the way as well. So I'm just going to blend this out. I think this is a pretty good shade match. Oh, to be honest, I think both colours were pretty good matches. Um, if you disagree, let me know though. I think as always, when you use a, a beauty blender or any kind of sponge, you just tend to get less coverage, but I don't really mind too much. Um, I think this is definitely more like medium coverage right now. I am going to go in with an extra pump just for a little bit more coverage. Yeah, I'll definitely say that this product is buildable and if you wanted like full of coverage definitely go for it up for a um brush instead of a beauty blender or sponge or whatever so i don't have any concealers from juvia's place so i'm just gonna go in with my normal concealers so that would be my sharp um tart shape tape my born this way and i'm gonna use the made by mitchell bronze to uh bronze <laughs> So now that I've blended out my base, I'm just going to set my under eyes and my highlight areas using the Sephora Translucent Powder. If you haven't seen my review on that product, you should go watch it. Um, I will try to link it somewhere on screen if I can. If not, it'll be in the description box for you. I might be one of the few people left in the world that prefers like setting their under eyes with the with a brush rather than a like a powder puff because i know like the triangle powder puff you know became a thing it's just with this i just feel like i have more control so well, i can't explain it so the next thing i'm going to do is set my face using the juvie's face bronze bronzer duo palette so this is in the shade dark i've had this for a while if you follow my channel you know that i've had this for a while i've tried replacing it with other bronzers but i just always come back to her um, she's been through a lot. <laughs> she's been through a lot. The covers come off, but this is what it looks like on the inside. I've hit pan on it as you can tell, but I usually like to. I like this. I really like the shade, the little one at the bottom. But sometimes I like to go in with the top of like one dab and then go back in like that. If that makes sense. So it's more bottom, less top. Okay, so now I've set my highlight, my bronzer, and my blush. And at this point, usually I would go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Medium Dark. Medium? Dark? The dark shade. I can't really remember what it's called right now. Just because I picked up this I Am Magic Powder Foundation, I thought I would try it because otherwise I don't know when I would try it. So I think this is meant to be more of like an actual foundation powder rather than a finishing powder, if I'm correct. But I'm going to be using it as a finishing powder and hopefully hopefully um i don't ruin the makeup because um <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do if it does i would really love to test this out on its own and see like how much coverage it has like by itself but for now i'm just gonna like drag it over my like the bits i haven't quite set just yet I don't think I noticed a lot of difference from putting that on, but maybe there was, I don't know. If you guys noticed something, let me know. I'm just gonna swatch the shade, the color at the back of my hand. So this is the shade 
Zarya Tantu. And this is pretty much what it's looking like right now. I'm going to go off camera and do my eye makeup and some mascara and all of that good stuff. But this is pretty much my base done. Hi guys, I'm back again. So if you're noticing something a little different, it's because I'm filming on a different day. I've had to film on a different day because I tried to film yesterday, but after I like put on my makeup and I was about to do the wear test and everything, I just didn't feel really great. So I couldn't film at the end, but I definitely have some thoughts on the products because I had the makeup on throughout the day. So I thought rather than kind of just come here and tell you guys my thoughts, we would do a two day wear test. So today would be like day two of me trying this out. But unfortunately you guys will be able to see the clip of day one. So I'm just gonna check in right now and then we can just start the wear test. So I've done my makeup as I would and I've used the shade Burkina. I've used the darker shade essentially, the same shade I used yesterday. Just to check in, it is currently 2.13 p.m. Oh, nope. Not. Uh, it's currently 2 13 pm so that's the time right now i'm gonna have this on for a little bit more and then i'm going to check in with you guys just to get let you know my final thoughts so before i go away i'm going to talk about the other products in the haul i'm just going to start off with the beauty blender it is a nice beauty blender it's a different shape compared to other ones but I'm not mad at it, but also it's not like my favorite thing in the world. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Juvie's Place I Am Magic Foundation Powder. I think yesterday I applied this to set my face, but today I've decided not to because it's really not a finishing powder, it's a foundation powder. So again, I'm just going to swatch this at the back of my hand so that you guys can see so you guys can see the shade or the color the purpose of me using it yesterday was for me to see if i could get away with using it as a all over face powder and how it matched my skin but yeah it was a good kind of face powder i don't know yet i i'm not quite sure yet how this would function as a foundation just on its own if that's something you guys want to see in a separate video let me know in the comment section and i probably will do like a short instead of a long form video just so that you guys can just so you guys can get that information so the last item for my haul that i want to review is the juvie's place bronzed liquid lipstick i got in the shade bronze toast so i actually picked this up because i saw this girl on tiktok use it as part of a lip combo and it looked so good and because i was already planning on making a juvie's place order i just put it in so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try it on now it looks a lot lighter than it looked on the girl if i'm being honest so that is slightly worrying oh and i am using the juvie's place lip liner in the shade brownie i've had this lip liner for a bit now and it's definitely one of my favorite ones that is my very sad attempt at lining my lips but let's just get this on Ooh. what the shade bronze toast is looking like paired with the brownie lip liner i don't know if this is a lip combo that i would ordinarily go for yeah it's de it's definitely a little different for me so i'm gonna try and go over it with some gloss and hopefully that just helps me like like it a bit more i'm gonna use a different applicator rather than using the applicator tip i'm trying to be responsible for once and not contaminate my gloss because i know that this will literally turn brown if i do that this is the final look i'm still not a big fan of the brown lip i feel like i definitely would go for a pink lip or like a red lip or maybe a slightly orange lip before i go for a brown lip i don't know it's just it's just a me thing it's just a personal preference nothing's wrong with this i think it looks cute but i just wouldn't i just wouldn't naturally gravitate towards this a lot but i definitely feel like putting the gloss on it definitely made it more made it more my zhuzh so that's definitely a bonus but yeah that's pretty much it from my haul from juvie's place i'll be back in a little while with my final thoughts and review hi guys so i'm back it is currently 8 20 my watch is dead but it's currently like 8 28 pm hopefully you guys catch that it means that i have had my makeup on for roughly six hours i'm gonna go through the pr product details um tell you what it claims to do and then i'll tell you if i agree or not you know you know the drill so it claims to have a natural radiant finish i would 100 percent agree with that this is one of those products that you put on your face and you kind of just look a bit more luminous and a bit more like you know almost sun-kissed not sun-kissed but like you just look a bit more dewy so yeah it definitely has that radiant finish if i had to think of a foundation that i currently own in my kit that gives me similar vibes the first thing that comes to my mind is the nars all day luminous 
It says it's a weightless and breathable formula which melts into the skin without weigh weighing it down. Guys, 100%. I 100% agree with that. It is definitely a weightless and breathable formula. When I was doing my makeup today, I did go in I did go in with a lot more foundation than when I tried to do my makeup yesterday. And considering how much foundation I went in with, my face feels it feels like I have nothing on my face. So 100 percent Easy glide and blendability and very easy to uh, blend. Buildable, medium to full coverage. I would definitely say it is a buildable foundation. You can build up the, the coverage. You can even go for light coverage if you wanted. So it's non-cakey, long-lasting comfort. Again, agree with that. Micro pearls and soft focus light reflecting powders instantly bloop, <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. instantly boost radiance and creates luminous finish. Well, there, there is a luminous finish, so I agree with that. They put a note here they said too much product exaggerates fine lines and wrinkles a little at a time will do the trick it's, it's rich in vitamin a vitamin c and antioxidants to protect and hydrate your skin i think i already said that it's available in 33 shades i think the last thing that they've mentioned on their website is that it doesn't oxidize and i actually i i agree with that to an extent it doesn't oxidize like crazy i'll say it dries down just a smidge just a tiny smidge darker uh, like you wouldn't even notice because you're gonna probably you're gonna highlight and you know everything and it's boom but it's just a smidge just a smidge just dries on just a smidge dark darker but honestly i'd say that in terms of my experience when it comes to um picking out a foundation shade online this has been really good the, des the description they had online in terms of the undertones were spot on at least for the two shades that i picked up that i picked up the way it was all laid out just made it very um, user friendly and made it very easy to shop online. Even though I have never owned a Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place foundation before, it was easy enough for me to kind of go online and figure it out. And we love a brand that makes things easy for us, don't we? I'm just going to move in a little closer so that you guys can get a better view. But honestly, I feel like my T-zone is a little bit more oily, but nothing crazy, nothing that I had... I, don't expect because i have an oily t-zone i don't really have much to say in terms of in a bad way about this i like the formula it's really lightweight i'm hoping that this product is long wearing enough and will be good to use in like the summer because it is very lightweight and i like how it feels on my skin so instead of blotting with my um translucent powder i'm going to go over it with <laughs> This uh, with the Juvia's Face Foundation Powder. Ooh. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Oh my god. I still need to take my thumb. I still need to take pictures of my thumbnail. <laughs> ah! What should I just do? Okay. I should not have done that. Um, Because the, the powder is actually quite dark. So it just looks like I have a really dark nose right about now. Yeah, so everywhere that I seem to have applied my concealer it seems to be like separating or doing something funny. I don't know if I just picked up an old concealer or what it was, but I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll speak to you guys another time. Bye.